I hope you are doing okay. Now I'm back again. I've successfully finished installing macOS Ventura version 13.5.1, but this time round I'll not upgrade it to version 13.6 because I want to show you how to upgrade it to macOS Sonoma. So what I'll have to do here is I'll have to skip, but I already did that in the previous video. So if you want to see how to install, how to upgrade, sorry, to macOS Ventura version 13.6, you can check that in the video description. Also, the installation video of macOS Ventura on my Lenovo X260 was not complete as most of the parts are repetitive. So I had to do only the important sections, as you will see, in the video I'll be uploading tonight. So here I'll show you how to update to Ventura. So what you do is click system settings. Just give it a minute to open. The reason why I don't like or I don't love the Ventura version on Macintosh is that it's extremely slow and go directly to Sonoma because Sonoma was running as I on my Lenovo. As you can see, it has not yet opened. You know what's up. Let me quit and restart it again. Ah, there you go. So I'll go under uh, software update available. If you use my EFI that I've shown you, there is one trick you'll have to do. Let me connect my internet first before I continue. So here our purpose to come to this section is to check for available updates. So check for available updates. Okay, as it updates, I was telling you about the one extra step you need to do for you to be able to find the Sonoma, what is it? The update you need to do for you to find the Sonoma upgrade in the download section here. So, as you can see, my mark is, uh, it's, let me check, it's, I think, 16.3, that is the 2020 model. System report. Here you go. As you can see, it's MacBook Pro 16, uh, 16.3. That means it is the 2020 model. So 2020 model from. Let me check so that you can confirm whatever I'm saying. tabs so here I'll just paste that name and search for it so that you can see it is a version that is compatible with Sonoma you cannot do the upgrade if your version is not compatible with Sonoma so because mine has three USB ports I chose the two Thunderbolt US three USB ports as I'll be showing you Hmm. 2020 model here. Yeah. Oops, what just happened? Hmm. As you 
can see, you know, identify your MacBook Pro model. Let us look under the 2020 section. Here you go. MacBook Pro 13-inch 2020 Thunderbolt 3 ports. So as you can see, it is the model identifier is the one I'm using, MacBook Pro 16-3. So this one is compatible. The newest operating system is Mac OS Sonoma. So, but if you check the previous one, I was using MacBook Pro 14.1. So let me show you, it's not compatible 14. Here you go. This one, I was using the MacBook Pro 13-inch 2017 to Thunderbolt 3 ports. This identifier 14.1. So you can see the newest compatible operating system is Ventura. So for you to be able to find this update, if you go under the general section, software update, it's still looking, it might take a while. There you go. For you to find this macOS Sonoma update, you first need to do some tricks on your SM BIOS for it to read the latest compatible version. For me, I chose Mac OS, uh, MacBook Pro model 16.3. There you go, as you can see now, the update has been found. What I'll have to do is click the upgrade now button so that I get all the files. Once the download process is done, I'll come back and record the installation process. So I'll just click the upgrade now and the download process will begin as simple as that. So we shall give it time. This is a very huge file. 12 gigs compared to the internet I have. That will take quite a while. So I'll be back once the download process has begun for me to show you the installation process. So enjoy the rest of the video, but I'll fast forward most of the parts. And as you can see, the installer has launched automatically. So to install macOS on normal, you just have to click continue. But I have some prerequisites to let you know before you continue with the installation. First, you must ensure that the OS you are using currently is supported by macOS on normal. But I believe you have attained that prerequisite reason being you are able to download macOS on normal. macOS on normal will only allow you to download it if you are using the required version. So to check, I'll just recall up you'll go to safari then i look for mac os sonoma supported devices do i search the first link should be the apple I think the first link i mean yeah yeah and you can choose in I'll choose mac os sonoma here then i'll scroll to the bottom the list is always given at the bottom of the page. Here you go. Mac OS Sonoma is compatible with these devices. I'm using MacBook Pro, so I should be having a MacBook 2018 or later. If you check the MacBook model identifier, MacBook Pro model identifier. If you check the model identifier, you should have a clear glimpse of which one you are using. So I'm using the 2020, let me scroll directly to there. I'm using this one, MacBook Pro 16.3. Just to be sure, let me show you. Go to Apple about this Mac. Then I'll click more info. Then I'll scroll down to system report. Then here, as you can see, so the model identifier is MacBook Pro 16 3. Here it is, you can see. So, mine is a supported version. As you can see, let me close the system settings because the newest compatible operating system is macOS Sonoma. So, to be sure, you need to check on that. Then, once you are okay, I'll close the browser. Then I'll initiate the installation process. To start, you just need to click continue as the statement here says to set up the installation of macOS. So normally click continue. So I'll click on the continue button. Then I'll click agree to a 
agree the license agreement terms then I'll uh, click on agree again then I'll choose my drive since I'm using only one drive I'll just click continue then I'll input my password once that is done the process will begin now this process takes quite a while depending on your system so to avoid a lengthy video I'll end my recording here but I'll be back once it has completed installing just for information purposes the process takes around 30 to 45 minutes so it'll have the patient for quite a while once it's done I'll be back so I'll end my recording here but I'll see you on the other side once the process has begun see you there now I'll click on the restart button you can see you don't wanna tell me now. so let my PC restart This PC will restart several times, so we'll just have to be patient and see how it, how it unfolds. Eventually, we shall be, we shall be greeted with the macOS on normal screen, and that is how to upgrade. So let us be patient and see how it unfolds. it's restarting so you just have to be patient there is nothing you have to do you just let it start that is what i love about clover it does absolutely everything 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 for you several times I know you have not been able to see some parts because my phone storage was full so I was taking time deleting some of the unnecessary videos but unfortunately I have to not force the installation so but there is nothing I did even selecting the bootloader I did not from the moment we restarted the PC everything was automated up to here I have not touched anything despite the fact that some of the parts were not recorded because my storage was full as you can see let me first revert back to the video recording so that it might be you can see a clear video but thank you for bearing with me 
during the installation part I used my phone hope you guys are able to see so I'll revert back just waiting for everything to start up correctly fast boot is always like that it's always slow and it takes time for it to boot display everything but once everything is up and running I will be fine for you on the other side but me just switch back as you can see opening the apps that were open that is why it's taking long a good practice to always close down all the applications before restarting but I forgot to do that maybe because I was overwhelmed by getting to Mac OS Sonoma here we go I'll now shift let me record on my mark I've started screen recording so that you can see a clear video not the shaky one that you have seen previously on the installation faces so here you can see I'm using macOS Sonoma I've successfully upgraded from macOS Ventura to macOS Sonoma version 14.0 so that was it for this guide I hope it was helpful and I thank you for watching and also bearing with me for using the shaky videos during the installation phases i'll try and improve on that soon thank you so much for watching if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing if you also want to get my efi please go subscribe to my telegram channel all my download files are uploaded on my telegram channel so that was it for this guide i hope to see you in the next one have a good day signing out